everyone welcome welcome to my channel my name is veronica Steele, and you could share with my be welcome everyone i'm gonna say thank you so much to everyone been watching my videos and i really really appreciate it and if you're new in here welcome welcome to crochet with lama v but if you're not new here you've been here with me for so long thank you so much and welcome welcome and also welcome to all my amazing members thank you very much for your big support in many different ways i really really appreciate it so let's go and let me show you but what I've been working on, um, what did I do this week? And um, I'm trying to kind of organize the area I have for my fabric and stuff like that. So I will, you know, show you a little short video and you're gonna see it, but it's gonna be in this video. So, <clears throat> so like I always say, get your snack, get your favorite drink, and just relaxing. And when you're relaxing, I want you to crochet your projects. I want you, you know, at least progress a little bit. So I hope that you like this video. And let's go start it and enjoy the show. <music> first thing that i'm going to show you i finished this um i don't know but this rabbit <laughs> got a big old head <laughs> i know how the big old ears you know but that's the point about this about the big you know big old ears so and they're supposed to be care a heart you know so that's the way i put the eyes and this part right here and what do you think you think that I did good or not? This is how the look in the back. So, so this little rabbit had bigger ears. So that is so cute, right? So this is one of the projects that I get done this week. And also remember that I did a tutorial. I got a tutorial for this backpack. Yes. I got a tutorial for this backpack. You're gonna will see some card right here, you know, and you're gonna see that um, that is the link. You click it in there, you say the video if you want to do it, you know. Very easy, very simple. I know there's a little, it's a long video, but I like to go step by step. If you new in crochet, that's what I like to do. You know, my videos, some videos are really long, some videos are short, but you know, I like to do, um, I like to share with you if if I do mistake <laughs> you will you probably gonna see it there you know so but yes yeah, so that's the way I did this backpack I use um red color um this one right here but in this color this one right here that's the yarn that I use so um I did the squares and everything and it's lining it and everything I really love this button right here and I'll cut this one in um i'm 100% sure it was hobby lobby and also i line in the back so i show you you know in there how you can do it and line it with um sew it and the same on the um um on the crochet backpack so and also i put a, a bags in there so you know so that is I did a, a tutorial there's a tutorial so yeah and also um i was doing a a a crop show or market show or um <laughs> i don't know how you kind of sell it you know like for me it's kind of like a, a crop show you know like um market you know because there's so many so many vendors so many people selling a lot of different stuff right so so um the other thing that i finish is this one right here this bag right here what do you think about this bag 
Let me get it closer. I use um, Hobby Lobby yarn, printed uh, yarn. And if I find a picture, I will put it in here. And or this part right here, whatever size. But I did. And this one is Hobby Lobby yarn too. And this one, it was, oh boy. What is that called, this name? Mm, I forgot the name for this one. But it's Hobby Lobby. All these both is Hobby Lobby. So this is how they look, the bag. Let me just turn. And I was cleaning. <laughs> I was cleaning my big old mess in there. And I found this one's right here. Um, this yarn, I dyed this yarn. And I did one my, um, my myself. So I had a, I had a video how you can do it. How, I mean, how I did. You know, if you like to, I'll show you. I'll go step by step with you. You know, that's another video. And yeah so this this one right here i got it from dollar tree so yeah so i really love this kind of color you know the chain the i mean different color blue and purples and kind of pink you know so i did that one so <clears throat> i did on this one let me just turn i line at the back too but now this time, because in my last craft show, uh, market show I did this year, people look it for pocket inside the bag. I was never put a packet on my bags, but I know realizes, and this time a lot of people ask me that for. So, you know, like I did with the backpack, I put it that. And so on this one, I did the same thing. I put a pocket and this part right here you know i got two in and this side and two in this side so and i said okay so now the bags have a uh, pocket you know so that way people they gonna be so more happy and that's the this fabric i got it in um walmart i got this one in walmart so look at that it's kind of like a shiny the butterflies so I just put up, um, you know, sew it and everything. You know, of course I use the sewing machine, but I sew it when my mama's and by hands. When I when I, I sew it, the part put it with the fabric on the crochet item. So on the project, you know. So yeah. <clears throat> so I will be working on a tutorial for this one too. Very simple, really, really quick you know and um of course i want to show you how you can cut it the fabric you know and put a pocket on this bag so uh, stay tuned for this tutorial and um yeah so this is another project i've done so the other one i was um do it is the squares i start doing in uh, squares if i'm not mistaken they cut lilies flowers but maybe you um this is one of the squares that i started doing <clears throat> so um yeah so i will be working bringing how you can do this square too so um yeah on this one right here the yeah this two right here is hobby lobby and this one right here is this yarn right here i found this one if i'm not wrong if I'm not mistake, I pay five dollars for this one on Michaels. If I'm not mistake, I don't remember. I got a video. If I find the video, you wanna see it right here the link, you know, in the top to here. So when I, if it's not, well, it was five dollars. It was on clearance. So I mean, this one right here is I never been crochet with this yarn, but when I was crochet. Um, this part right here, the center, I said, oh, wow, this is so really nice working with this yarn. It's my first time working with this yarn. Even it's a small thing, but when I was using five millimeters crochet hook, I was thinking I'm going to use maybe four or 4.5, but five is perfect. The whole square, it was work or crochet with the five, uh, five millimeters crochet hook. So, yeah. So that is what I, I um, this is the kind of color. This is the yarn that I use for um, this one on this one. I mean, uh, how we love it. Not the color because it's different color. Um, 
Yeah, so let me show you the squares that I crochet already. So this is the squares that I already crochet. And yeah, so I think it's 20, if I'm not mistaken, it's 20 squares that is gonna be in a project. Yeah, I know. So, and I'm in, and I'm in uh, crochet the other ones, the all in one squares, the red card, uh, because it's gonna be more project. So, yeah, I'm gonna be working in a, a lot of squares. There's gonna be a lot of projects. Uh, hopefully, I can finish the project that I had in mind for this one. You know, that's gonna be ready for the next video. So, let me just get it closer. Um, but yeah, so this is the squares. I know this one is, I think this one is, um, oh boy, 16. And this one is what? Three, uh, let me see, three, six, nine, 13. It's 13. And this one, three, six, nine, dos, tres, six, 16. Yeah, 16 and uh, 13. 13, yeah. Um, and this one it was the first the first this the first I did but this one is gonna be another project if I if I try to focus on that one but I said you know what I think these two colors just like that on all these squares okay all these squares I use only one in each color the Hobby Lobby one and um and this color so I did this right here for all these right here and also around the here to all these so the next color the purple one it was all this only and there was in the center the other one so two skin and then the yellow one well you see the big old the steel is a lot because yellow it was not requiring a lot so um yeah so let me um let me show you what else i've been working on if i've been progressing this one so i'll be back okay so this is how was organized the fabric um i know i have more stuff in, there in the closet don't look at the closet yet <laughs> so i got the chunky that uh the chunky yarn that i got from joanne's you see the video i tried organizing here and right here i have those like solid colors already i just in one and i got these baskets in case you know i got to find something good on um dollar tree but no so this is right here is all the uh printed colors and this is all that i have so i don't need it no more and also in here i got all these ribbons right here and this one's different ones and right here is more chunky yarn and all those four right there some projects that i haven't even been touching for a while so right here is more fabric you can see there's more fabric in there i know that ha i have a lot i have a lot so um yeah and there's some more yarn in there so yeah so that i just want to share with you how they look and they look much better so so let me show you what else i've been working on that it's just kind of like the last thing that i'm going to be working on this week so um i know if, if you see the video that i just put in on my channel uh about shopping on hobby lobby but if you're not i will be put it right here the link and the top there will be a shot right there um so i know i'm not crazy about working i'm like neon or to bright colors you know so i got these three four colors um that i'm gonna be working on these together i already did and also this one right here um this one the name on this is that's the color for that the name the color so um so let me show you now i um i working on this one right here already 
so let me you know what let me just grab it and let me show you um so here is well let me show you first the first option that i was working on so this one that was the first option you know um something like in the middle to start with different color you know with only four colors and now and this one i'm not added color blue but you know so something like this you know and in a small and after that i tried thinking so well if i do it this way i'm gonna add it the blue to the next color um this is what the first option that i was working on see all this right here that's the one part that i don't like it oh the last that's the one thing i just like you know what i pass with this but i'm still gonna use in this one for the projects that i have in mind but when i work completely one i will let you know what it is i cannot say right now it is because i'm still working in that find a way and everything so like you know so when i completely some part i will show you maybe this could be in the next week so that one it was the first option and the same on this one okay i was added to this one right here the print color around like this but i said where is gonna be the blue because i don't want the square so big you know and it had to be like really nice size the, the square so this one is the other option this one it was the second number two and the the option number three it was this one right here the big one so you can count one two three four five six right so this one it was the other option then i said well i think this could be something you know something good that's the way i did and i like it the idea because there's not much to sh to hide the yarn because you see the way i did it's kind of go it's kind of go match the color or like hide the color really good so i don't have to hide a lot of yarn like this one right here <laughs> that is my thing about this doing the squares that's why i don't like making crochet granny squares and chain the different colors because that is not my cup of tea <laughs> so this one is the option number three okay and the option number four and the what would i like it this is the option number four so it's similar in this one but this one is more small than this one right so on this one i start with the print color right and this one i start with the solid color so you know so you can leave a comment you can tell me which one did you like much better but like i said this is square i'm still going to use it like a small like this because i have some other projects anyway but this is how much i did if i had to make it more i will but if i think i'm to try to just focus and use it one two three four five six seven seven and i'm probably going to do this this one seven and eight so option one okay option one option two option three and option four so which one you think you like it much better like you know i mean just give me your opinion you know what you think about the options so i don't want the square so much big but i think this size that i did one two three four and five i think this could be enough because in this one at the six If I gonna do it one more, they have to be the print color, not the solid color. If I gonna do it one more, I'll run again, you know. But if it's not, it's just and it's just gonna be something like that. So I was just like, you know what? Let me um try and do it this way and see how they turn. And you know, so this is how they look the squares. So um, like I said, I was working with this with the pink and also i got purple i'm probably i'm going to add it purple and i have um i don't have orange i really i don't have orange like can be over i think this could be only the colors and i think i'm gonna add it the purple but 
if I added the purple, this one is a little bit dark. I don't know, depends the color purple that I have, but I will going to find out what purple that I have. But if I find it, well, you're gonna see maybe in the next video when I completely, like I said, I've been working on the other squares that I was show you. You know, this one's right here. I've been working on those. Um, yeah. So that's kind of pretty much everyone for this week. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I've not been working a lot like I, I'm used to, you know, create a lot of things. Um, but yeah, so leave me your comment. Tell me what you think about the squares. And that's pretty much for this week for me today, everyone. So hopefully you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also leave me your comment. So, you know, hit the notification bell twice. So that way when I have a new video, it's you to notification you, the crochet will be have a new video. So, um, thank you everyone and see you the next time. Have a wonderful and beautiful and amazing yarn day. See you in the next time. Bye.